Red Bull has just unveiled the details of their brand new 2024 RB20 car and it's causing quite a stir in the Formula One world. This highly anticipated reveal has everyone buzzing with excitement as we eagerly await to see what this powerhouse of a car has in store for the upcoming season. So, without further ado, let's dive into this video today to uncover all the exciting details about Red Bull's latest creation. Red Bull faces a tough job heading into the 2024 season. They need to maintain the high level of performance they've shown in the past two years. However, it's not going to be easy because all their competitors now understand the technical rules better. Despite the challenges, the Austrian team has shared some important details about their new car, the RB20. They've worked on fixing some weaknesses from the previous model, like how it handles low speeds and over bumps. With these improvements, the RB20 is likely to continue dominating the grid. This raises the question, will other teams be able to challenge Red Bull, or has the team already secured its position at the front of the pack? Stappen's record-breaking performance, Red Bull's success in 2023, where they won 21 out of 22 races, makes them the favourite for 2024. Their driver V. Stappen had an incredible season, breaking records like winning 19 races in a single season. Despite the competition, Red Bull remains a strong contender because the technical rules for the sport haven't changed. This means they can build on their previous success without facing new obstacles from regulation changes. They understand that to stay competitive in the upcoming season, their new car, the RB20, needs to follow a similar but improved approach compared to its predecessor, the RB19. They aim to maintain their edge over competitors, especially on tracks where they traditionally perform well. Despite their success with the RB19, Red Bull acknowledges areas where the car could perform better. Driver Vapen noted issues with the car's handling on curves and at low speeds, which were particularly evident in races like Singapore. These shortcomings motivated the team to make improvements for the RB20. Vapen emphasized the team's dedication to enhancing the car's performance. They recognize their weaknesses and are actively working to address them. Additionally, they aim to build on their existing strengths to make the RB20 even more competitive. The team's struggles on street circuits such as in Singapore and Vegas highlighted areas needing improvement. They acknowledged that the RB19 had difficulties with low-speed handling, especially over bumps and curbs. These challenges serve as crucial points for development in the RB20. While addressing weaknesses, Red Bull also aims to reinforce its areas of excellence. By optimizing its strengths, Red Bull seeks to maintain its position at the forefront of Formula One racing. Red Bull Racing, with its three-time world champion, has been ruling the F1 tracks. Now, the team is focusing on getting even better, especially in making the improvements suggested by its experienced champion. Chief Engineer Paul Monaghan reveals that the team is not sitting back despite their recent domination in the 2023 season. They have been working hard in the factory to enhance their performance further. The aim is to refine the current car, even though it has been the earliest in development compared to its rivals for the upcoming 2024 season. Evolution of the car for 2024 Monaghan explains that the 2024 car will evolve to the current one. He mentions, it would be foolhardy to throw away this concept, but at the same time, we have to make progress. The team understands the need to find more speed because the competition is getting closer. The lessons learned from the current car will be applied to the new one, maintaining the good aspects while aiming for progress. Red Bull has set high standards that other teams find hard to match. The question is whether they can continue this trend in the upcoming 2024 season. Other teams suggest that finding performance improvements ranging from 0.5 to 2.5 seconds is achievable during winter. Learning from Red Bull's success has become crucial for their competitors as they strive to close the performance gap. The true test of Red Bull's advancements will be seen in Bahrain when the new season begins. While Red Bull Racing has been silently working on its SITS 2024 plans, other teams are left in the dark about what to expect. According to McLaren's CEO, Zach Brown, it's like solving a mystery because no one knows what Red Bull has planned for the upcoming season. Unlike Red Bull, who focused on early development, the rest of the grid continued upgrading their cars until the last race of the 2023 season. 
This uncertainty makes it challenging for other teams to predict their performance for the next season. Brown believes that Red Bull might not maintain their dominance in 2024, considering the diminishing returns they are experiencing from their current car. Brown predicts that the competition will be closer in the next two years as teams catch up with Red Bull's development curve. He acknowledges that Red Bull's early transition gave them an advantage, but the playing field could level out with limited time for practice and development due to regulations. A reset for the future. There is hope for a reset in the upcoming F1 season, with teams expected to adopt new strategies. Brown emphasizes that maintaining the status quo in regulations will only delay progress. He suggests that teams need to adapt and evolve to keep the sport competitive. As the competition heats up in Formula One, Red Bull Racing's innovative approach puts them ahead of the pack yet again. While other teams are just starting to grasp the direction they need to take for development, Red Bull's early investment in talent and technology has given them a significant advantage. Red Bull's engineering team, led by Newey and Wace, has crafted a masterpiece with their 2023 car. Their innovative design, particularly the Venturi channels, has been the key to unlocking unparalleled performance. As they further optimize these channels, other teams are scrambling to adapt their chassis and floor designs to keep up. If Red Bull manages to evolve their already powerful design for the 2024 season, it could leave their competitors in the dust. Teams like Aston Martin and McLaren have shown improvement under the current technical regulations, but Red Bull's relentless pursuit of perfection sets them apart. Development driver Jake Dennis's experience driving the RB20 simulator provides a glimpse into Red Bull's dominance. His feedback suggests that Red Bull's advancements could be a cause for concern for the rest of the grid. However, until the cars hit the track in Bahrain, it's all speculation. Dennis says the improvements made to Red Bull's car are significant. He believes that other teams would need to find a whole second of performance during the winter to challenge Red Bull. Dennis even predicts that Red Bull will likely become champions again unless Ferrari or Mercedes make an overnight breakthrough. Dennis mentions that after the Singapore race, Red Bull quickly shifted their focus to the 2024 car. This means they stopped developing the 2023 car early on. Dennis expects a straightforward season in Formula One with Max likely dominating. Every team is striving to find that crucial second of performance to catch up with Red Bull. Recent statements from Ferrari indicate that they've significantly improved their 2024 car. They claim to have added 30 downforce points, translating to around 7.10 of a second in performance. Initially, Ferrari promised that their car would be 2.5 seconds faster than the previous one, but Dennis suggests this might not be as impossible as it seems. The importance of Red Bull's 2024 season, Red Bull's performance in 2024 will heavily impact their performance in 2025. This holds true for all teams, as having an advantage means they must use it wisely until the regulations change. Even though the development curve is slowing down, it doesn't mean the advantage is slipping away. Teams must still work hard to maintain their edge. Ben Waterhouse, the head of performance engineers at Red Bull, revealed that the team has already begun working on their 2025 car, known as the RB21. He explained that it's logical for them to focus on the RB21 now that they've maximized development on the current RB20. Reflecting on the RB19's limitations, Waterhouse emphasized the need for improvement, especially in high and low speed performance areas. Waterhouse highlighted that while the RB20 has its strengths, it also has clear weaknesses that need addressing. Despite being six months old, Red Bull is shifting its attention to the RB21 to ensure continuous improvement. This proactive approach demonstrates Red Bull's commitment to staying ahead of the competition. Red Bull's partnership with Ford and the upcoming technical regulations from 2026 poses new challenges for the team. However, their focus remains on maintaining momentum and evolving the car to set a standard for the rest of the grid to follow. The RB20 will serve as a benchmark, driving Red Bull to push the boundaries of innovation in Formula One for another year. So, what do you think of the new 2024 RB20 details of Red Bull? Comment below and subscribe for more.